Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Gabriele, a classical pianist. Today we are going to talk about Piano Concerto in G minor by Felix Mendelssohn, a masterpiece of romantic theory. Uh, we are going to talk about secrets of piano practicing about this work. So if you like this video, please give me a thumb and subscribe to my channel. This concert has three movements. The first movement, the first part of the first movement, there is a sequence of octaves. How to realize the sequence of octaves? First of all, it's important not to stiffen hands, fingers. I stretch my fingers and I have a lot of tension, my forearm and my fingers and my hands. This is not the right way. Uh, I have to um, free fall on the keyboard. Okay, uh, there is a combination of a free fall on the keyboard and the rotation from right to left. Then I repeat the same movement for left hand. Uh, I have to remember that uh, when I play by left hand, I have to make a hit notation from left to right, okay? By right this way, um, we can play faster and uh, we can have uh, more musicality into the, uh, into the performance. Now I have a series of quadruplets, how to play them. The most important thing is to memorize the position, the right position of hands, because I have the same fingering uh, in all the quadruplets, but there are quite different intervals between the quadruplets. I have to practice slowly this passage. By practicing this movement, by practicing this passage, I have to create tension between notes. I have to uh, use my elbow, like the driver who drives my car, my car is my forehand, so I have to use elbow, to use wrist, to use weight, weight of, of my hands, uh, which move from the fingers and one another, so I create tension between notes. The third and last passage, which is very difficult in this introduction, is where there is uh, the G minor chord, so I have... Um, To play it. There are some uh, tips. Uh, uh, use uh, incorrect fingering, which is comfortable to our hands. Don't stiffen fingers. It's useful to use a right uh, fingering and use the right movement, okay, in order to have fluency into the performance and have a, a great musicality. Mm, my advice is to study this passage by grouping notes. <laughs> There is another passage at the end of this introduction when we are going to the cadence on G that is mm, quite difficult but it's uh, similar to the previous one uh, as this. Okay, how to play it? Uh, in the same way. So I have to practice slowly, I have to use uh, the right movement of uh, moving weight from fingers, okay? Mm. I have to to think about the tension between notes. So I have to arrive on this note, okay? So. And then at the end of this section, there is another passage which can create uh, uh, some difficulties when we practice how to study it um, by grouping notes, so. I can practice uh, uh, quadruplets by grouping notes by using the right fingering that um, I write in the subtitles and um, in order to have a fluency into the movement. Okay, that's all for today. Uh, now let me know what you think about these tips uh, uh, into the comments below if they are useful for your practice. We we'll see you at the next video, next tutorial. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to follow me on my social accounts. Uh, Gabriela Mapak, my Facebook page, Mr. Renovazio, my Instagram account. Uh, so, bye and tweet the bell.